have seven grandchildren, I decided to do it for Christmas like the Grinch. So we went all out. My name's Kim. I'm from North Alabama area. And this is my Ford Transit 1500. And it's the medium roof and the shortest wheelbase. Okay, let's come inside and I'll show you around. Most people think this is the where the potty is, which it's not. I use it. I built the van around everything that I bring. Sometimes I go to the beach, sometimes I go to the lake. So I built this to carry tents. And then my dry goods sit on top. See, I've already got the short tent in and I'm carrying water underneath because it's shorter, but the, the big tent will go all the way to the end, but the dry goods will still go on top. And that's what I use there. I, I ordered that off of Amazon. It's a, a cassette and it's, it holds a little more, it sits taller and it's got a little place on there where it shows you when it gets full. It's not heavy to empty? No, it comes apart. Top comes from the bottom. I've already cleaned the top. So when I leave over here, I'll just take it into the, the bathroom and dump it over. My husband did most of the work, but he let, made me have a hand in everything. I had a saw, a, I had the sander sanding the rust off. When we got it, it was a cargo van. It had a, and they had, this van's been to the Tetons and out west. It had the roof in it and a broken Max Air fan, so we took that out and put a, a AC in it. It's the only power. It runs off of shore power when you need it, so I wanted it because I come to Florida a lot. Everything else runs on um, three deep cycle marine batteries. The three batteries will last me about three days, and then I have to crank up and charge. The isolator separates it so it doesn't drain the house battery, so it'll last about three days running everything. I don't carry any water under here, so I have it all for storage because I don't have a lot of storage in here. This is all the cooking utensils in here, which they're held with these kind of magnets. The fridge is isotherm. This is the most expensive thing in the build, and uh, but it's the greatest. It runs on hardly any battery. Cooking stuff is up here. I'm collapsible. The collapsible pots. Oh, cool. Was it Sea to Summit? There's two in here, a smaller one and a bigger one. This is my most favorite thing. It's like a water pot, mm -hmm. which my granddaughter has put like tea in it already made and warmed it when she was sick one day when we were camping. And it, it, I think it heats in like practically a minute and it's like 600 watts. You gotta have one of those. That's my favorite thing. So I'll just pick you stuff. Bowls, I, I like to have just, you know, a lot of wood. Uh, this is, I bought this at Hobby Lobby. This is my Grinch noodle bowl, which I use it to put fruit in and everything, but it's actually a noodle bowl. I, yeah, you could put anything in it, candy. Okay. Yeah, this is a hammered sink, and it's a bar sink. It's small, but for hand washing and brushing your teeth. Running water, which you can set it. When it gets primed, you can leave it on. Nice. And uh, just shut it off here if you want. There's a remote control for the air condition. It's very quiet air condition. Oh, and I it's see. got a dehumidifier in it. Ooh. And then below that's the water pump. Mm -hmm. And then you have the puck lights that turn on. And then on the other side, a battery monitor and the inverter where you can um, turn that on and run your power to your plugs my medication and toothbrushes and all I was keeping it up here in this basket the this rod and these hooks they all came from Ikea and I love them because you can hang anything on them knives or anything the only problem with them they were sliding when we were in route so I've discovered nano tape it's two-sided tape and you can stick it on anything like that so I put a little bit under each hook so they're secure under here is a waste of space. So I had him put a little piece of wood back here so I keep all my medication and a little thing for my jewelry and toothbrush and toothpaste. Perfect spot. This space up here, he wanted enough. I wanted the cabinets straight to the roof, but I used this 
to put stuff up here. I got my books up here and my Bible and for right now it's perfect. Just like, you know, I don't really have any regrets. I, I kind of thought about it for uh, six to eight months and planned it out on paper and planned with what I want to take. I'll show you when we're in the garage. Every, um, it's all arranged back there according to what I'm going to take. It'll fit right in. So the van was built around what I have and what I want to take. Mm -hmm. The bed is a queen size bed, which I had to cut down about, I had to cut down, cut off about four inches. So it, it still takes queen sheets, but they, it's on the end where I had to cut it off. So, um, if you're over 5'10", it's hard to lay on here. So what we did was cut these windows in because the Ford Transit is rounded. It's harder to build on the Transit than it is on the, the Ram. So uh, we had to cut these out like windows. This gives you four inches on each end. Yeah, eight inches so extra to sleep Yeah, on. eight inches, and your feet might, might go right to here. Otherwise, my feet would be against the wall, but right here, you can just stretch out. But And I had all the windows on the sides put in myself. Mm -hmm. uh, the window, the window here, this is, I ordered all of these, I think, I forget where I ordered them, but they came from Amazon, and it opens so you can have it open in the rain. So I really love that. That's mm -hmm. my favorite. Uh, this cabinet is strictly clothing. I'm wanting to get a pull-up so I can put struts on it. But everything is... The hardest thing about being in a van is keeping your clothes. I found that out. And these cubes... See, if you pull them out, watch. I'm going to have stuff falling out. See? So the best way to carry is in cubes. You can roll it up and you can just unzip it. You can keep winter, summer in one. This is all shirts, so... It works out good and you can just stack them. Otherwise, that's what I deal with. And I've got other storage things up here. Uh, let's see. We got a light, reading light or reading light or a walking light. It just goes around your neck. And I just keep that up here. These are all kinds of wet bags for your phone. So when you go, I like the paddle board. So, and then, so I just keep that up there where you can get it. Uh, it's just stuff like rain ponchos, wipes, and first aid kit you gotta have, and you gotta have masks, just stuff like that. Everything has a pump. Okay, I've got the twinkle lights, and they give you a lot of light at night. They're just all around. Mm -hmm. And they, they can go, you know, twinkle or whatever you want them to do. I use those a lot. Um, I've got the switch for the puck lights that are under the cabinet or it's back there. Also, I've got a battery powered fan. I don't know if you can see that way back there, but it turns on on the side and it's yeah. got a timer on it. It can run for one, two hours, mm -hmm. whatever you need. It's three speeds. The bedside lights are nice if you want to read and the, you can turn them either way. And they're really, they're really cheap on Amazon and they got all different styles. And they have US, they got the button to turn them on and off. Um, they have the USB ports so you can charge your phones on the sides of them. And they're wired in also. Yeah, yeah everything's system. wired in, uh, wired and goes back to the garage to the batteries. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is my Yeti bucket. It was a gift to me and I, it took me forever to figure out what to do with it. But I keep my water hose. This is a aqua hose. Aqua Joe, it's the best kind of water. If you got a hookup and you want to fill your tanks up with water, um, it's because it's collapsible. A lot of people think it's not a for just water, but it is. And my filter, and then I've got a, a coiled hose down here that's really nice with a sprayer. Yeah. So I keep all of that in there because it's kind of wet. And that um, the filter was for an RV. Yeah, it's an RV, RV filter. And you know, that's something even someone with a minivan, they, some of them are a little bit smaller than mm -hmm. that, but even with a minivan, you can hook that up to the hose. And filter your and uh, filter water. water. Mm -hmm. Okay, in here I've got rugs and a couple chairs and my tent. And like I said before, it, it was all built, so that would go right in. Uh, extra cords and hanging lights and the gas bottles. Up here is a toolbox 
to use a disposable barbecue and I think it goes back with a jacks or leveling thing. So everything you need, uh, a jump box I got back there. This is a little table, a garbage can that I brought a couple games of small table. I have a, the cooking, oh, I forgot to tell you. I have a Blackstone, backpack Blackstone. It'll fit right in here. And a lot of the ladies were worried about um, heat, but um, I use an electric blanket that plugs in. And this is what runs it. Uh, there's my 30 gallon um, water tank and you can see the inverter back there. And uh, this is just safety breaker box for the, the inverter in case something was to go wrong, it would shut down instead of, you know, catching fire. <clears throat> the, um, then I have the three interstate batteries. I chose not to go with the lithium. Um, I asked uh, the guy I had wire it. He said this was just as good in these batteries. You, you can't hardly, you know, kill them. And I do have the isolator. So they stay charged about three days. This is a shoe rack. Um, all this stuff you use a lot when you camp and I had it in a big bin, but now it's all separated, whatever you need. Bug spray, garbage bags, bungee cords, um, fire starter, uh, Yeti locks and dog leashes and dog bowls. Um, when you plug up, you right. need those. Converter. Uh, everybody needs a camp shovel and cord. Um, this is even something you can hook up to your propane bottle to start fire or whatever you need. I started looking on YouTube and seeing the vans and uh, we've all, we've always camped. I've camped as a, as a little girl. I was in the scouts and then when I got married my husband loved you know hunting and camping so we've always done it. We raised our kids on the lake but we've had every kind of thing you can imagine to camp in but as you get older it gets harder and pulling the trailer hooking up and unhooking by the time you got everything out, it you're just wore out. So I wanted something easy. I wanted something I could just pack a backpack and get in and go by the grocery store and take off, you know, within like 30 minutes. So um, I tried to, I talked my husband in it, into it. It took a little while. Um, he, he wanted to just buy something already built, but it's really expensive. So um, it really isn't that hard. We were intimidated at first, but, um, a nail gun and nothing's really measured because nothing is level so you, it's like a puzzle and it, it was really fun it was something we could do together and you don't have to buy cabinets you really don't have to be a cabinet builder nothing has to be perfect um, I think the main thing you need to remember is to try to go light lightweight light wood like quarter inch some people go a little too heavy and I was worried about that because my van's only a 1500 but um, it's very light, it doesn't struggle, you know, at all. The cabinets are really modified. We bought them at a surplus, surplus you know, store. So uh, these were two different, like, vanity cabinets. We put this one, but you can see where it seamed, and he modified it to fit the fridge. So you can really do it a lot cheaper. And we ended up doing this, so we saved about $1,000 doing it that way. A lot of people think, oh, it just costs so much money. But um, it's what you put in it. You know, you can choose to put expensive things. You know, you could go with a max air fan if you don't need that. So then you don't need the air or um, the fridge. It's just, you, you know, pick, pick what you want to do. Um, I just love getting out here. And this is my first meetup. It's just been a good time. It was really easy. Everybody was friendly and it was just like we knew each other. Yeah, there's women from all over the, you know, the country here. Some people that you meet, you think that, oh my gosh, you have so much in common with them. It's like they're your sister and you know, you know, your lost sister. And I love it that, um, no one's judgmental. Everybody does their own thing. Uh, you know what they like. They've designed their vans about how they live their life and everybody just loves everybody's van. Thank you so much for your van tour of your beautiful cozy van that you did yourself just exactly like you wanted. That's great. Thank you. Thank you.